I'm Luke. Today's Thursday and I've missed last week, sorry about that. This week uh, the topic is how trans people are portrayed in the media and you know the coverage on the trans subject. So obviously this year has been the year for trans rights and trans people coming out and basically the media has been all over it and it's weird because a lot of people have never even heard of this. So this year, for the first time, a lot of people are hearing about it. I'm okay with the media so far, but there, um, it's not about the media that's a problem, in my opinion. It is the people who are getting this information and twisting it. For example, half the people I talked to before um, Caitlyn came out as Caitlyn um, were like, "Oh yeah, Belinda." They were actually thought that Kate, like Caitlyn, before, like you know the whole name coming out thing, they thought that her name was actually Belinda. Um, that's the problem with people who are transphobic on, on media, on TV shows, because people believe they're gullible, they will believe the news, um, and it's horrible, but you can't really stop people from believing it. I mean, half the time people are reading things and then they find a thing that's like, oh no, that's not true, and then they're really confused. Honestly, if I came out a few years ago, <laughs> no, I would not have made it. Um, this year was a good year to come out, but um, honestly, I am so happy for trans women, but there are no trans men in the media that I feel that I can connect to, that I see as a trans male that is portrayed in the media and is very popular. Congrats for Orange is the New Black for finding a really awesome actress that portrays really well for the trans women and trans people in general it's awesome to see like um her name is Sophia I'm pretty sure I'm not sure um I've a I've very bad memory but with her starting off in my like honestly I think she started this and it's amazing like oh my god with Caitlin as well do you want it's just it's great but there's no trans men and um, that is a bit off-putting I mean there are probably plenty of trans men actors and there's plenty of people that identify as gender fluid like Ruby Rose like it's awesome for gender fluid people it's awesome for trans women but where are the trans men I mean I know there's plenty that have potential for the media there's plenty that have you know the, the ability but there's no one popular enough because for the media you need to be a celebrity and to be a celebrity you need to be a singer or an actor so it's just <laughs> it's a bit difficult but honestly I'm really happy a lot of people are getting this information even though it does encourage people to voice their opinion negative or, or positive um, they get more of a stronger opinion. The whole thing with it is great and it's bringing recognition and that's all we really need, you know, recognition and the more we get recognised, whether it's hate or not, the more people are educated on it as well and it brings people to think, hey, what is this hateful guy actually saying? And then they'll look it up and be like, hey, I'm actually okay with that, you know? It also helps me because I, um, when people reblog or share this on Facebook, like a thing about, oh, this trans woman this, and this trans guy this, and Ireland is now recognizing trans people, and people are like, oh my god, no, and then, like, I start, like, I comment once or twice, and they don't change their mind, I just delete them, so in a way, even though the negative comments are horrible, and can bring you down, you can find out which ones of your friends are actually there for you and which ones are just saying yeah yeah accept you and then like saying shit behind your back yeah so the portrayal it's great like keep going you know um don't let this die out um but bring more trans people into the script into the the whole media thing because yeah they can focus on uh sophia uh i'm pretty sure that's her character name actually is it I don't know. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner, you know, like, it's awesome. But bring more to the table. I mean, there's Ruby Rose, but that's not a complete accurate, accurate description of gender fluid people because Ruby likes feminine pronouns. That does not make her any less gender fluid. Does not make her completely feminine and is discarded that is not gender fluid like you can't just know there are ge plenty of people that stick to their original or opposite and um, pronouns but feel gender fluid i just want some that are there that use the they them pronouns or z or you know whatever that is 
I'm not, per I've never personally met anyone that talks like that in person, so I can't really, you know. There has to be more people that fit within the box and outside the box to be in the media. I really wish that one day you don't even have to come out as trans. You can just be like, hey, I'm a dude, and you can get the treatments if you want, if you don't want. You know, and then people will respect you, but obviously that's not going to happen for a few years, maybe a decade or two at this point. But I just want more trans men, more people that are trans, like under the gender fluid umbrella that use they, them, because you can hardly, I don't think there's much in the media that have just the they, them pronouns. A bunch of people that are gender fluid that people don't even know, so you should look that up actually. Look up people that are actually gender fluid and you don't know about because there are actually quite a few. There are plenty of people out there that are gender fluid that people don't know about. Um, there are plenty of people that are trans men that are just not in the limelight right now. And then there's trans women who are actually in the limelight right now. And I think they really need that because there's a lot more uh, stigma towards trans women than trans men. I think like a lot of the time I'm worried about people that are trans women. But there's so much violence towards trans women and I think trans women should be put first in this and trans men you know just double along after <laughs> and gender fluid people basically get more people in the T umbrella because there's not enough and there should be there should be obviously I'm not in America so I can't really give like hey this is happening this because I, I don't I don't know I'm not in America I'm in fucking Ireland I'm in Europe and uh, not much happens here in regards to that. In our media we have nothing on trans people but in America obviously they care about celebrities and since Caitlyn's a celebrity and since um, Sophia, I'm sorry I don't know the name, uh, they're all and Ruby Rose all in the media in America you know it's always controversial you know but at the end of the day they're in the media and they're supporting gender fluid people, trans women and hopefully one day a trans man will show up. See you next week.